Yo! What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Feeling great today. Getting ready to actually go on vacation with the family to Florida. So, um, I don't know when this video will go up. Probably after I'm already back. But we're headed to uh, Destin uh, for five days as a family. It's our one big family vacation that we're getting all summer long and at the end of it. But the Duck Shack construction uh, is well underway and I'm excited to show y'all. All right, I got something to say before we get going. Uh, we're back here though. This is where we store the trailers, the containers, the decoys, and then, if y'all are new here, this was called the Guide Shack because all of my guides, all the help slept in there. There's living quarters. Well, we're adding on to it and making the Duck Shack for some of you guys to come hunt with me, right? What I'm getting at and what I'm trying to get to is um, I had a, uh, man, I don't know. I've been doing really well on the old socials lately. Um, TikTok, I've been doing so good on TikTok that I'm now banned and I don't know how long. Uh, Instagram, good, been going really, really well, but uh, I've been pulling the haters out of the cracks. I think what I'm getting at is, uh, I've said it before, everybody could use a good hater. Someone to learn from. Someone to criticize everything you do and someone that actually truly cares enough to criticize you with everything you do. They say they, they hate you or they say you shouldn't exist or you, you ruined waterfowl, right? Why are you still trying to talk to me if I'm that bad? Why are you wasting your time? I think someone might be a little jealous and um, it's not, I'm not just referring to myself, but a lot of you out there, guys, I have learned to use haters as fuel. And I mean that. I know we hear that on the socials with different people. It's not cliche. I'm not trying to be that guy. I'm saying that I have truly learned to use that energy that makes me a little upset at the beginning, but to get over it and whip it into motivation. And I just want to spread that word uh, for you guys. And as well, um, I'm, I'm going to start saying this a ton more uh, in every video. If, maybe every video. It's time to uh, change the game. It's time for this generation of hunters, waterfowlers, deer hunters, big game, I don't care, to change. But to get past, I had to find my words, but to get past uh, the judgmental BS, guys. Um, just talking crap on people that you've never met, that you really don't know. You say suck at hunting, they don't kill birds, you've never hunted with them, you don't know. Change that so my children and your kids and the next generation don't have to change it, right? Be nice to each other, man. We're not all better than each other out here. Let's go back up there. I had some stuff to get done real quick. But if uh, this is the first time you're hearing about the duck shack, we're gonna have a living area down here. Um, yeah, my duck boat will probably still be in here, but it'll be way out of the way. Big flat screen up here, new fridge, and moving all this stuff, this will be lockers. So you'll come up these stairs, really shaping up now I'm excited to show y'all uh, so this will be closed all the time open her up all right so this is what we got going on um, it's a little entry hallway right here this will be the door to the bathroom so sink toilet stand-up shower got it sink, sink pretty big bathroom walk back out of the bathroom and then this will be the first room we're actually gonna Bring this wall all the way to the corner. Kind of got some different ideas going. Um, and then put the door right here. So it's a lot more privacy for the clients. Um, so people don't just see right in your room. So then here, this will just be a hallway to the big room. Actually, let me back up. I forgot to tell you. Okay. <laughs> so here's the door coming in the first room. This will be the size of beds. Uh, this is most of the size on camera. They look little, but they are memory foam and awesome. So comfortable. Uh, this bed will actually go over in this corner and then another bed will go here. And me and Brad, we are going to custom build bunk beds. So four people can be in this room. It's actually a really good sized room. Thermostats in this one. So these guys will be able to control the thermostat in the whole duck shack. So that's that. It'll sleep four up to four. If it's only two, three at a time, whatever. 
Back to the hallway. This is a huge room. Absolutely huge. Uh, P. Diddy, I'm using our podcast lights for... I had to take down the light, move the light and all that stuff. So, as you come through the hallway right here, uh, this will be bunk beds. So, one bunk bed here, and then right here next to the window will be a normal bed. Just probably a full-size normal bed. And then, see this little cubby area? It's perfect. Still got outlets available everywhere. Right here, so let me give you a better visual. Right there will be <clears throat> another set of bunk beds. So this room will actually can sleep five and that can sleep four. My original theory was to only be able to uh, sleep six to seven up here. But then once we got the walls going, I'm like, man, there's so much freaking room. Well, I ought to take advantage of it a little better. We can have more people in here and it's fine. Because y'all, this is the duck shack. It's not the Hilton, it's not the Big Lodge, and that's what I've been telling everyone that books it. Now, the package is the same, you get mills, you get everything just like the Lodge, but it's not the Hilton. That's the difference, but we can, we can hold a big group back here now. Uh, I'm excited about it. Um, and another thing, I have I've had a lot of questions with people saying, Bob, uh, what about, uh, you know, if you book a private group, in the big lodge are the duck shack group, or are they just gonna come in there all the time? I'm like, no, the duck shack group, I've already told every single one of them that's booked, um, this is your private area and that is their private area. So now we do have, in fact, two lodges on the premises. If they both get along and it's cool, which I'm sure they will, they can mingle back and forth. I'm sure it won't be an issue, but uh, we just have to kind of set the, the groundwork um, right out of the gate and just tell everyone, you know, give everybody their privacy and, and enjoy your own space that you have paid for, right? I think that's the best way to do it. Uh, not a ton to show you um, today. I will show you this, though. So, so, Gerald and Aaron, this was their room last year. So, new plan is, y'all know Gage and y'all know Drew, right? Um... They are actually going to be working in South Dakota all of November, and they won't be here till basically December 1st. So, um, this used to be Drew's room, now it's going to be G's room. G, uh, he'll enjoy this room. Where's the light out? There it is. Please turn on. Now. How about here? Yes, okay. Sliding door, very nice. This one's nice and redone. Uh, Gerald did all the walls in here, so this is honestly the nicest room in the whole place, and I feel like he really does deserve it. He is uh, my partner in this whole guiding deal, and if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing it. I just wouldn't have done it just by myself. I needed someone like G-Wagon to <sighs> help me. <laughs> just help me. So um, this would be Gerald's room. Gerald and Archer, his dog. Um, he gets a window, so I don't know if you guys have seen everything down here, uh, but this is what we've been working with. It's going to be time to finish a lot of this out. Last year I didn't finish it out, didn't paint anything uh, because it's just the, the guides in here. But now with clients going to be in here, uh, with having two bathrooms, the clients will use this bathroom whenever they want. It's, it's a huge bathroom, so uh, clients will be able to use the laundry uh, anytime, wash or dryer. Um, and then this is actually, so this room, sliding door, this was Gage's room last year. Since he won't be here for a month, this is going to be Aaron and Ace's bedroom, his dog Ace. So as a guide, everyone has to have their dog. Um, it is our man's best friend. It's our best friend, but it is our tool in the field that helps us get our jobs done and get them done you know really quickly so with retrieving birds and everything so smaller room but i do believe aaron will really enjoy this room need your guys's help and opinions um as you can see i have not finished the walls in here um they're obviously insulated i really don't think it looks that bad just because this has always been my shop i'm thinking about just finishing out this wall that rolls down to the lockers just kind of making this fascia nice 
So when you're walking up here, and I'm thinking about just using some thin plywood for now, I don't think I'm going to spend the money to sheetrock all this. Can you imagine how much sheetrock that is? Secondly, um, you can see got the big uh, commercial AC unit in here now. And, and I will go show you. I know last time I was like, I'm going to go back and show you the unit. It's a freaking six foot tall beauty. And I forgot to do it. And you guys were all over me about it. So I don't blame you. It's you wanted to see it. I promised it and I didn't follow through. <laughs> But I need your uh, opinions about this. Again, <clears throat> the Duck Shack is, is the Duck Shack. It is not the Hilton. So I'm trying to keep my budget low uh, because it doesn't need much. You know, there's a lot of you saying, Bob, I, you let me pitch a tent and I'll be good. So I'm just taking that theory, making it really comfortable still, but it doesn't have to be the lodge. That's why it costs what it costs compared to the lodge. So number two, I got the furnace AC now in here. Never had it before. This ceiling, it's not insulated. It is not blown in. It, is, it does not have uh, rolls laid out. Uh, the ceiling above it, so it's a big walking attic in there. And that's where the furnace is, is up in the attic uh, for the AC unit outside. I gotta blow insulate it. I, I tallied up uh, how much I would need and it looked like I needed 100 bags of insulation and it only rounded up to about 1400 bucks. I thought it was gonna be like a $5,000 job to do a, basically it's a 40 by 60, almost 40 by 70, it's like 65 something. So any of my insulation guys out there, if you are around my area and you wanna come hook it up and uh, I'll still pay you to do it, whatever. Um, if you can get the job done or something, man, hit me up. Uh, send me an email. My email is always linked in the description. That'd probably be the best way to get a hold of me. But um, I would greatly appreciate some help with that. I have done blown in insulation. I've done it. It's not bad. It's just, it's going to be tedious and um, I'm going to need some help. And right now I don't have a lot of help here. So, but I am going to put some more mounts up here. This is actually Gerald's dead mount. Look at that spec though. Absolutely just black belly. We're gonna get some more mounts up here, pretty it up. Um, gonna get the wife in here with her touch. I think that'll help a lot. But if you're interested in booking the Duck Shack or the Lodge, we are still booking and we still do have availability. I would just jump on it ASAP because it is filling up. Slowly but surely, some days faster than others, it is filling up. <sighs> and it lets me just take a deep breath and go, oh, it's gonna be a fun season. One comment I had the other day, and I will get off here and stop bothering you guys, is, Bob, I just miss the days, you know, before guiding and before you had to have money on YouTube when you and Fred would uh, just go buddy hunting, just you and him, and it was just, you were, the, you were the normal old Joe duck hunter, right? Okay, I got Fred way after I started YouTube, first of all. I got him right before the guide service by a year. It, Right, right around there, a year and a half maybe. I, I don't understand what you're saying there. Because on every video, I preach safety, I preach everything I've learned, but just like all these pigeon hunts that we've done, it's buddies high-fiving. Teal hunts, it's buddies nucks. I mean, we're hooting and hollering. The guide videos, yeah, I might be a little tight lip because I'm doing my work. That's my choice to bring you guys along. I don't have to bring you along on them guide videos. I'm just saying, I'm letting you inside of my life, letting you see if I may be stressed out, I might be stressed out, but to hold it against me like, you know, you were just better back then. What, I wasn't as stressed out? This is my career. This is my job. This is my, 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 my well-being, my kids' well-being, the food that goes in their mouth. Like, I know, I try to be as, I try to be as entertaining as possible, but to hold that against someone that has done nothing but try to go up and be positive to you guys and to anyone out there and try to pass on the, the good morals of being a good hunter and respectful to your, to your farmers and, and each other and public hunting, all these things, picking up trash, all those things I always talk about, what's changed? Honestly, what's changed? I just think people... Uh, if they're negative minded, they're, they're gonna say it. That's the problem. Some people are negative minded, but just they're like, yeah, I don't. They're a little more mature than that. They're like, yeah, 
I'm not gonna go out of my way to put that on social media. I'm not that immature. Some people are, they just bloop. Nothing's changed, the season's here. <laughs> and uh, I just wanna thank you guys for your guys' positive comments all the time, your great positive ideas, uh, everything, just sticking around for so long and being here with me. Thank you all, subscribe if you haven't, but until next time. All right, here she is. I forgot to show you guys yet again. But she is big and beautiful. A Lennox signature collection. Uh-huh.